Measurement of Line Segments. In this section, we will look at line segments and their lengths. The concept of measurement is probably as old as the concept of number itself. Early attempts at measurement used hands, arms, and feet as units of measure. These early crude measurements were eventually refined and standardized by the English. The most common English units of length are the inch, foot, yard, and mile. The United States is the only major country in the world who still uses this system of measure. All other major countries use the metric system, which was developed about 1800. The base unit of length in the metric system is the meter, which is one ten millionth of the distance from the equator to the North Pole on a meridian through Paris, France. The units of measure within the metric system vary by powers of ten. The most common metric units of length are the millimeter, centimeter, meter, and the kilometer. It is impossible to make exact measurements. We can only approximate the true measure. We will obtain different measurements depending on the precision of our measuring instruments. Let us measure line segment AB. We will use a ruler marked in English units. First, we will measure the line segment to the nearest inch. Place the ruler under the line segment with the zero on point A. Find the point on the ruler directly underneath the right end of the line segment. Locate the one inch markings on either side of the point. Then determine which marking is nearer the point. If the point lies halfway between the marks on the ruler, round up. We can see that our line segment measures about six inches. Now repeat the procedure and find the length of the line segment to the nearest one half inch, one fourth inch, and one eighth inch. To the nearest one half inch, the line segment measures five and one half inches. To the nearest one fourth inch, the line segment measures five and three fourths inches. To the nearest one eighth inch, the line segment measures five and five eighths inches. Now let's change systems and measure our line segment to the nearest centimeter and the nearest millimeter. Follow the same procedure that we used when measuring in the English system. To the nearest centimeter, the line segment measures 14 centimeters. To the nearest millimeter, the line segment measures 142 millimeters. Even though it is impossible to make an exact measure of length, we can talk about the true measure of length. For instance, we can talk about two line segments having the same length. We call these line segments congruent. They have the same shape and size. We use this symbol to indicate congruency. If line segment AB and line segment CD both have the same length, we can write line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD. Every line segment contains a point halfway between its endpoints. This point is called the midpoint. In our drawing, point M is the midpoint of line segment XY when line segment XM is congruent to line segment MY. When a figure such as a point or line cuts a line segment at the midpoint, the line segment is said to be bisected, that is, cut into two segments of equal length. Here we have line segment AB bisecting line segment CD at point X. We could also say line segment CD is bisected by line segment AB. Knowing this, we could say that X is the midpoint of line segment CD and line segment CX is congruent to line segment XD. Note we cannot conclude from this information that X is the midpoint of line segment AB or that line segment AX is congruent to line segment XB. You should be aware that not all drawings are drawn to scale. Do not rely on information that only appears to be true in a drawing. Lengths of line segments and other sizes of figures must be given in order that an accurate statement can be made. Drawings can be used to assume the order of points on a line or to see that lines intersect. In other words, we cannot use drawings to tell about size, but only the relationships among the parts of the drawing.